Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. First off, I want to apologize because it's been a very long time since I uploaded a video. Things have been crazy busy. I've been doing a lot of projects. I just haven't had time to edit and post because actually I started a new job. So that's very interesting. Also, um, I let my sister borrow the General Grievous for family reasons and uh, I'm driving her husband's taco in the meantime. I know, right? A Toyota, gross! Don't tell Doug! But the good thing is it's a five-speed, so it is a lot of fun to drive. So other things I've been doing is the Black Beauty front-end upgrade. I ran into a little bit of a problem when I found out the trans lines were rusted, so I'm pausing that project to take care of that. I also got Project Rec J getting ready for reconstruction. That's gonna come out soon. Shove in your two by four. Get some leverage on it. Uh, and you guys gotta check out the police model XJ. I got a front push bar getting fitted, getting installed, and then I'm gonna have that powder coated. That is gonna be sweet. <laughs> now, I don't know if you can hear that, guys, but the brakes on this WJ, they are. <laughs> Talk about blown stop sign. That's some road rage. Oh my goodness. But anyway, oh gosh, this guy is just crossing in front of me. It's a good thing I'm paying attention to the road and not recording myself. Oh my goodness. But uh, <laughs> road kill. Yeah, so we're going to replace the brakes on this thing. This came with the Thieves front brakes. It's a 2002. Those are notorious for warp and rotors. So I went ahead and I got the Akebono style uh, front calipers for this thing. So we're going to do the brakes on this WJ. But right now, we are on our way to Andy's house. He got an LJ, a 2006 Jeep TJ Unlimited. We call them the LJs. I don't know which one's the official name for it, but uh, it is dead. Nothing. Nothing? All right. So I am on my way to start it. I am bringing the Green Hornet. We also have a bunch of other starting and charging related options. We have jumper cables, of course. We have my trusty Ampeak smart battery charger with a couple 25 foot extension cables. I also grabbed one of my spare batteries off my backyard workbench where I have a couple batteries on a trickle charge. We're gonna use my Top Don battery tester and we're gonna try to pick the best one. And it took a couple tries to find the right battery. The first battery was a Bosch, but it needed to be recharged. The second battery was an interstate battery that tested to be good, but it only had about a 50 something percent charge. Finally, we got ourselves the other good Bosch, which tested out to be about 78% charge and a good battery. Come on, baby. There we go. We got a good battery. It's showing 12.72 volts. We got 78% health. So let's, uh, let's bring this one to Andy's in case we need a quick backup. And if you guys like this Top Don battery tester, check out this. We got a 12 volt car truck volcano jump starter 1500 by Top Don. Pretty cool. Looks like we got USB DC output, Type C input, quick charge for the phone, nice little power supply. This thing is super safe. We got 10 safety precautions reverse polarity protection, reverse connection protection, over temperature protection, low temperature protection, low voltage protection, overcharge protection, short circuit protection, over current protection, reverse charge protection, and overcharge protection. Wow. So let's get into this. Now, as you guys know, I use the Top Don battery tester and I love it. So I'm excited for big things from this thing. Look at this, nice little compact unit. I'm guessing the wires are in here. Okay. All right, here's some instructions. Let's breeze through it. Welcome, yep, I'm welcome, thank you. All right, we see right here, we've got the clamps. And it's gotta plug into somewhere. So that goes right here. Engine start. So we'll plug that in there when we're ready. Oh, looks like we got a flashlight there. Um, we got a Type C input and a DC input. There we go. Um, yeah, car charger, I guess. Pretty cool. Uh, DC output, I'm guessing then. Um, here we go. We got uh, power. Okay, simple enough. Double tap, oh, press and hold, here we go. Press and hold, and the light goes on. One button operation, 
I think it goes dormant when it turns off. You just uh, leave it alone. That's how you get it off. So let's see. We connect the battery clamp to the jump starter and the LED indicator will flash. Alternating green and red, indicating it's ready to use. Connect the clamps, positive and negative. Easy stuff. And then start the vehicle. <laughs> when it's started, disconnect. Can't beat that. Right here we got charging rate. So at 1 amp, it'll take 10 hours to charge. 2 amps, 5 hours to charge. And 3 amps, 3 and a half hours to charge. Pretty cool. There it is. It's off because I haven't touched it. Let's box this up. Put this in our car. So uh, let's head on out and I'll check in when I get to Andy's house and we'll see this cool TJ. All right, guys, we are here at Andy's house. Check out his LJ. What's up, Andy? Not much. I think it'll start after a year. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's how long it's been sitting here? Um, eight months, maybe. Wow. All right, guys, this is a 2006, right? Five, man, I was wrong. All right, we got a 2005 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Sahara Edition, right? Now, 649 of 1,000 of 2005. 649, wow. Of There's a special group that is just these guys for LJs, of the Sahara Rubicon, Ultimate Sahara Rubicon LJs. So you're in the limited company right now. This thing, it, it's long. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Uh, so it's a Rubicon. We got Dana 44s front and back. Yeah, I think so. Let's see. Uh, it's pretty clean. We got a couple of rust spots in here. Oh, it's a little dark, guys. Sorry about that. Dana 44. Dana 44. Let's take a look inside. Beautiful. All right, well, you said the battery was dead. You want to give it a little start? See if we can try to get this going? Ugh, get rid of this crap. This right's on the seat. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing? All right. So let's get this thing started. All right, let's open up this. Oh. Did you get your finger? <laughs> well, I didn't, but it was in the same spot as before. <laughs> All right, let's open this bad boy. See what we got under the hood. There we go. Want to put... Oh, oh, hey, <laughs> look at that. You don't need the prop rod to hold these things on. Check that out. Hey, liking Wranglers already. This is actually the second Wrangler. The first Wrangler was Pastor Mike's, what is it? Captain America. <laughs> That's right. Pastor Mike's got a JL. This is an LJ. All right, there we go. There's a nice look at the 4.0, famous 4.0. Love this motor. This one's got the coil packs, and the configuration is different because from 02 to 06, we have the alternator up here. Right below it is the belt tensioner. This has the clutch fan right in the center, and in the same place is the good old power steering pump. This is a TJWJ motor, and right here, you can tell by the water pump, it is a dead giveaway. Now, right here, this impeller, it's threaded for the fan, like the TJs, WJs. It's also sticking straight out to the side at the 3 o'clock position. It looks so similar. Even the thermostat housing from the front is similar. It takes the same power steering pump all up in here is similar. But then when you go around to the sides, you can tell, well, actually you can't tell, it's really hard to tell that the mounting brackets are different for the motor mounts. The motor mount brackets will not fit. So you cannot put a TJWJ motor in your XJ. Well, you could if you make custom brackets, but that is a pain. And then another issue is all the accessories the accessories won't line up because there's different accessory mounts. So that's that. And we're coming around here and I don't know if you could see it. It's hard to see, but the AC compressor is way down there underneath the power steering pump. This is different from the XJs, but it is the same as the WJs. So the 4Os have different motors and uh, you can't put one of these in an XJ unless you're doing some serious mods. So this is it, this is looking good. Let's get this bad boy started. All right guys, here we go. All I did was plug in the battery connectors right into the top, simple, easy peasy, can't mess that up. When I did that, it automatically turned itself on. So let's uh, 
Let's hook up the connectors. Black to negative, black to black, red to red. Simple stuff. All right, that went from red to green. Now it's green. I think that's it. Look at that. It is pumping some juice into it. It's clicking. All right, let's give this bad boy a go. All right. Yeah, it topped on. It worked. down here see how long it takes for this thing to turn itself off while we go ahead and pack up the box nope look at that off already sweet all right let's pack this thing up and hello lj All right, guys, here is the interior of this bad boy. Check this out. Only 159,000 miles, well, just about 160,000 miles on this 4.0. You know these things will last forever. Our only concern in the Northeast is rust, so we're gonna have to do some preventative maintenance, keep this thing fresh. Check this out, we got the axle lock. We got the overdrive off button. This is pretty cool. This is an LJ Rubicon Sahara Edition, 649 of only 1,000. Pretty rare, pretty cool. All right, well, that's about it. <laughs> Look, more battery starting supplies. Thank you, Top Don, you took care of it. Look at all that room back there in this long Jeep. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. A fair amount of work to do to it Yep, that's it man. Jeep work, it's what we do. That is what we do, but look at that. This is a pretty rare edition right here. Gotta keep this bad boy alive, right Andy? Right. <laughs> Only a thousand of them. Only a thousand of them. All right, well I guess we got the Jeep started and we've seen it, so we'll close this one out. All right guys, that's it for this one. We got the Jeep started, so this one was short and sweet. No issues, I'm glad. But uh, it's good to get a video out to you again. It's been a while, but I got plenty more stuff on the way uh, as soon as I can find some time to edit. So uh, that's gonna do it. Pretty cool Jeep. Thank you, Andy, for sharing it with us. Thank you, guys. <laughs> so uh, that's gonna do it. Remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next project. Peace.